The so-called Summit for Democracy, led by the United States is said by some American media to be just a futile attempt to spruce up the tarnished U.S. image, rather than to uphold democratic values. An article published by The Foreign Policy, a U.S. news publication, noted that democracy itself, with some fundamental design flaws, was never about real people power and that needs to be changed. The New York Times reckons the question in a more direct way. Critics questioned whether the U.S. could be an effective advocate for democracy amid problems at home. Echoing the view that the U.S. government turns a blind eye to a multitude of problems at home caused by the deterioration in its own democratic system and the widespread criticism of holding the summit, Pew Research Center, a think tank based in Washington, D.C., has recently pointed out in an analysis that democracy is in trouble. Pew released an analysis on democracy based on surveys conducted between 2015 and 2021 and found that roughly two-thirds or more in countries like the United States, Spain, Italy, Belgium and Japan dissatisfied with the way democracy is working in their countries. A median of 56% across 17 advanced economies surveyed in 2021 say their political system needs major changes or needs to be completely reformed, Pew was quoted by the report as saying. That the trust deficit between the current state of Western democracy and people is widening. And the track record of US, particularly in recently in Asia, where they use, you know, military power to, you know, force a way of uh, governance structure in Iraq or Afghanistan and even Syria, it has been terrible, you know. So people have even lost more faith that they basically went for defense contracts and, you know, uh, 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 having their influence by having their military bases rather than actually caring for the people of that country.